It's Doc Griffin, your swing surgeon director of club fitting operations, and it's time again for the doctor's house call. And today I'm fielding a question that's come into us off the blog from Mr. Don Anderson. And uh, his question says, when I used the rotational swing, my clubs were adjusted to plus four degrees. Now that I am using the PPGS, my toe is scraping the ground. I have tried several demo clubs with lies all the way down to flat, minus three degrees, and when I use the tape on the bottom of the clubs and a lie board, the mark is still out on the toe. I don't know if the mark would move to the center even if I had a club at, uh, I think he means plus six degrees here. Is this unusual or usual for the PPGS, and if so, what is the normal lie adjustment for irons? Is it always in the negative flat range? And again, he was thinking about a little bit. He actually meant in the positive plus range. I asked a local pro about my lie, and he doesn't know about your swing and thinks I should change my swing to be more laid off in the back swing, and he could then work to improve my lie. But I told him I like using the PPGS. Good for you, Don. Do you have any suggestions about setting club life for the PPGS? This is a good question because it deals with a very common misconception about lie angle and what affects lie angle or what effect a, a particular swing has on the lie angle. Now this is going to require a little bit of trust from you guys and that I know what I'm talking about because it has been propagated so much down through the years that lie angle uh, you want to address it by what it looks like uh, as you're holding the club in your hand and, and an address. Let me tell you something, what that club looks like when you address it has nothing to do with what the proper lie angle should be whether it's sitting toe up heel up or perfectly flat. Let me tell you something. Get over that of thinking the club has to be in a particular position as you address the golf ball because that has nothing to do with what happens when you swing. The elements of the swing and the club that directly affect lie angle. Number one, weight, the club head. Number two, the force with which you swing it and release it. And number three, the resistance of that shaft, glued, epoxy, stuck, whatever you want to call it, into that hosel, the ability of that material to resist the force of the club being swung, which is called toe-down effect, as it comes in through the impact area and goes on out. In other words, the more forceful, the heavier the head, and the softer the shaft is in the tip, the more it's going to toe down as you come through impact. So, if you're getting a lot of toe down, it means that the lie angle needs to be adjusted more upright. It has nothing to do with the swing plane or path, whether you're vertical or horizontal. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. Weight force and, and resistance of the shaft at the tip to the give, the natural give of the force of the club with that weight being swung, called toe down. So, if you need an upright club, then get an upright club. Now, it may mean that when you have it that you're sitting there and, and the toe sticking up off the ground. Doesn't matter. What is important is, is what is happening as you swing the club and come through impact. And the statement by the pro that, you know, flatten your swing, then I can help you with your life, <laughs> goes to show you just how much most pros don't know about equipment. Get to a club fitter. If your toe is digging or your heel is digging, then you need help with your lie angle and it is what it is. Um, if your clubs were, uh, Dan, if your clubs were, I think it was four degrees, uh, Don, excuse me, if your clubs were plus four degrees and you're still striking it out on the toe and you need it more upright, 
and get it more upright. Uh, I see a lot of people that come here, we do the fittings and they need their clubs five to six degrees upright. So what do we do? We build them five to six degrees upright. It is what it is. If you need it, you get it. That way you're keeping the toe from grabbing, which slows the toe down, lets the heel pass, opens the club face and causes you to hit the little bitty face. Conversely, if the heel's grabbing, the toe keeps going, closes the club face, causes you to hit uh, some, some hooks or, or draw more so than what you normally would. Lie angle is, is a key to playing proper golf, guys. And it gets very frustrating. There's those of, there's those of you that are hitting weak little dying quail shots, right-handers, that, that we call them little weak fades that go out to the right, and you get frustrated, frustrated, frustrated because you think it's you. When I'm willing to bet nine times out of ten your clubs are probably too flat and that toe is grabbing and it's causing it to open up and you hit the little bitty flare out to the right. Get it checked. It's not hard. Um, just about anywhere can check your line. Put the tape on the bottom, hit it off the live board, if you're marking it out on your toe, clubs are too flat. Check it out guys. I think you'll find that it will definitely help you in your golf game, help your mental health as well. Alright guys, that's it for me for today. Got questions, please send them in email or give us a shout on the phone. We'll take care of it as soon as we can. Thanks again guys for your support and as always, better golf is just a fit away.